When everyone else says no, or that's too crazy an idea, they give us a call. And I often say, if I can think it, we can make it. Can you make us a fully road legal drivable deck chair? Yeah, we can make you one of those. And you want a GPS umbrella that always keeps you in shade? Sure, we can make one of those. But also projection mapping onto buildings or turning a dance floor into a speaker, or you name it. We were approached by our friends at Fix8 to work alongside one of their clients, TRO, which had a huge project for the Football Champions League. Say the word soccer, Americans will like that. We created a large space where when you walk into it, you get welcomed by Yaya Torre, who then asks you to take penalty kicks against a virtualized space. That space actually involved five projectors in a cove and connect two cameras track where you are within the space. And then you actually take physical kicks with a real match ball against the walls. And also we overlaid connect to camera tracking technology to work out where the ball is as well, which then gave you speed, accuracy, and that allowed people a possibility of winning tickets to the actual match. We wouldn't have been able to do this project without the AMD Fire Pro W9100 card. It just wouldn't be possible. The first thought that we had of it is it, this has to be a real-time game engine. We decided to use Unity purely because it's very flexible. But then when it dawned on us that we have to actually output 10K footage straight out of it in real time, spread over multiple displays, that was the first hurdle we had to get past. We wondered if we could actually get the whole thing running off one machine, and if that one machine could run all of the projectors at the same time. The key for us was keeping everything in sync. So you can't have multiple machines because they get out of sync, networks aren't fast enough. So we had to have one card that was up to doing it. Nothing else comes close to the W9100 for both a number of outputs and sheer memory capacity. The production cycle um, was very similar to making a computer game, actually. So we created all of our assets in either 3D Studio Max or Maya, which allowed us to get these really nice high quality vehicles, and stages and everything else we may need. We had originally started to downgrade the quality of the vehicle, downgrade the quality of everything to get the frame rate up. But what we actually have on our workstation, as well as the installation, is the W9100 card, which means our artists can work with that data set in real time. Then as soon as we put it into the game engine, it's the same technology that's going to be running the installation. So we know if we can get that frame rate up on the workstations we have, we're guaranteed it's going to work on our installation. The first time we ran the full five projectors, which is actually a 10K by 2K resolution with all this CAD data in it, we had three cars driving around. This card absolutely flew. It ate up all of the data we threw at it. And we were, had so much more confidence and we had to work at a much higher level than we actually expected. And it really changed my opinion of what could be done in these caves. One of the projects we created recently and we're really proud of is a virtual reality property tool for Savills. What we did is we leveraged all of the best pieces of technology we can from 360 stills, 360 video, 360 video on drones, and also LiDAR scan data of the property. The technology behind it was taking the 3D point cloud data um, and we've been using Thinkbox Sequoia, also 3D Studio Max. We then, to create the 360 video and stills, put that through a Nuke pipeline, which allows us to stitch all of that 4K video footage together, stitch all the areas together, make it all look beautiful, grade it, and then putting it all together, we actually use the Unity game engine to allow us to tie in the stills, the video, and the full CG data set. We need really, really powerful graphics cards. Working with AMD and Fire Pro is incredibly quick to be able to look at these huge data sets. Over the last few years, we've worked with some amazing clients on some ridiculous projects. But the real cool thing to it is we always try and do the three Fs, fun, fame, and fortune. If you can get a couple of them, that's good, but you have to have at least two. Three will be amazing. So whenever I find a new project with a client and they ask us, could you do one of these? Yeah, well, we can do one of those. But have you seen one of these? And that really gives us an opportunity and also gives us a lot of value to clients. It allows us to do something new and different every single time. It keeps us excited and hopefully keeps our clients really happy.